I'm here today with Dr. Goswami, a distinguished university professor and co-director of the Clean Energy Research Center at the University of South Florida. And with me also is Dr. Klausner, a professor in thermal fluid sciences at the University of Florida. So I want to thank you both for joining us here today. What do you think, in your opinion, what does the energy mix look like uh, for the future? Well, in the near future, we would continue to see the conventional energy resources, nuclear, but at the same time, the renewable energy resources like solar, wind, biofuels will continue to see an increase in their proportion in the energy mix. Then in the far future, I would expect that renewable energy resources will form a much more sig significant part of our energy mix. And I would add to that that with the fossil energy and nuclear energy mix, um, as they do continue to play a role, we need to make sure from a technology point of view that we utilize those energy sources in a clean, safe manner and that um, we have as little impact on the environment as possible as we do make use of those resources. Since the solar and renewable energy industry is increasing, there's a lot of investment going in this area and therefore there's need for trained engineers in this Definitely. area. So uh, uh, this is an area where uh, there is a lot more opportunity for the students. Do you think that uh, solar energy can be an economical resource for the everyday consumer, for the, for the home user? Yes, I believe that it can be economically viable. In fact, uh, prices of uh, solar energy equipment have been coming down as the demand increases, that is the global demand increases, yeah. the prices come down. However, almost all of the cost is up front while the fuel cost is uh, not there. So you have to look at uh, innovative uh, uh, financing of the solar energy systems, which makes it economically viable for everyday consumers. And I think we need to add that um, when it comes to solar energy usage for the everyday user, there's arrays of different technologies and different applications. Developing less costly technologies is really a driver to make um, solar energy viable uh, for the future, and that's the challenge we have as engineers and researchers yeah. developing new technologies. And so another area that's very important for large-scale solar applications is energy storage. In order to make supply and demand um, meet each other, you need to have energy storage technologies, and thermal energy storage is a big part of that mix. Um, perhaps electrical energy storage technologies um, will play a role also. Yeah. But I think for the future, um, that's an important direction that we need to go down as um, technologists looking at new technology development. So professors, I'd like to thank both of you for sharing your, your knowledge. Thank you okay, both. Well, thank pleasure you. being here. Pleasure, it's a pleasure talking with you, Yogi. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Jim. you.